What an entrance, what an entrance, okay. Hi guys. Wow, I heard some really heartfelt speeches here tonight. I'm about to tell you that this is not going to be one of those. <laughs> I, I stand before you today as a proud groomsman and a proud former co-worker and a former flatmate of Harris. Thin walls. <laughs> obsessed with Hannah from day one. Just talk all the time. Hannah this, Hannah that. But um, when I first actually met Hannah, I was just amazed that she was real, okay? You know how these online dating things go? I was just really hoping, I was like, she sounds so cool. Let's hope that someone shows up, you know? I, I don't know who it's gonna be. Could have been a dude. Well, I don't know, but it was Hannah, and wow, it was fantastic. These two lovebirds just chatting away the whole time. Terrible, terrible, terrible jokes, but they were laughing so much. I pretended to laugh as well. We all had a great time together. Even though you put me through this. Harry, Harry, Harry. To, to, I mean, yeah, I'll just probably say some nice things about Harry too. Harry is one of the most. Uh, Harry is one of the most hardworking, kind, and dedicated people that I know. He puts his heart and soul into everything he does. Harry, I love how much you care for Hannah as well. She's kind, she's smart, she's sweet, and she loves Harry with all of, all of her heart, which is more than he deserves. <laughs> not a person I can think of that is more deserving of love than Hannah and I can wholeheartedly say Harry you are more than perfect for the job. I'm so happy you've both found the person you're going to annoy for the rest of your life and I wish you both endless love and I can't wait to see what the future brings for both of you. I have a chance, I have a chance. What have I done? We cry together. <laughs> okay? No, it's okay. You okay? I found a way to sum up how I feel about these two, and I figure today is the best time to share. There is only one true happiness in life to love and be loved. And it looks like these two have won the jackpot. Letting Hannah go was difficult. Having my big sister, best friend and role model move out of home and leave me behind was tough. Looking back, I'm so incredibly happy she moved out and moved in with the love of her life. Harry, you are a gem. You have been patient, loving, kind and respectful throughout your relationship and there is not a single doubt in my mind that you are the man who she deserves. This is how it starts. H, you're an incredibly strong person and I thank you for passing some of that down to me. Sorry. I'm absolutely honoured to be your sister and to have witnessed your love blossom with such a beautiful woman. declared your love and your intentions for your time together and made promises today which bind you for life. So I'm so pleased to be able to say you and our husband and wife and you can seal your marriage with a kiss. This won't be a sky. This time feels different. Tahani.
The day you were born, I learned that love at first sight was real. It's a privilege and an honour to be your mum. I'm incredibly proud of the beautiful woman that you are. This town feels to conclude my speech tonight, I just want to say thank you to the bride and groom. And P.S. I can't wait to be your child's worst influence. <laughs> <laughs> So we were going to do um, speech off the top of our heads, but we are both on the spectrum of some kind. So we have written them down. So if we sit on our phones for the rest of the night, it's because we're trying to remember what we want to say. And we didn't tell them. Yeah. So as you can probably tell, Hannah has always been our dedicated third wheel in our relationship. We went, when we went out to the mall, Hannah came. On our fourth year anniversary, we went out for dinner. Hannah came too. We went up north to see my family. Hannah came too. And we snuggled up in bed to watch a movie at night. Hannah came too. <laughs> so when we heard about her matching with someone off Tinder, we had mixed emotions. However, when we did meet this boy from Tinder, it wasn't the way we had imagined. So after a Kendrick Lamar concert, Hannah asked us to find Harry and gave us a description of it. Small, ginger, and most likely smoking a cigarette. We thought, well that's not going to be easy. But after about two minutes, we hear the drunken yell of, Juke! Sure enough, we turn around and there is a small ginger man, in fact smoking a cigarette. This was our first introduction to the lovely Harry Whitehead. He immediately felt like family. I've always wanted a brother, and I'm proud to be able to say I finally have one. Even though he is ginger. <laughs> we love you both so much, and are so happy that you both swipe right. Now you can look forward to the honeymoon. Let's, Let's just hope, hope Harry's tall enough for all the rides. rides. <laughs> I promise to love and treat your daughter the way that she deserves. Um, today wouldn't have been possible without both of you. Anna and I are eternally grateful. difficult to put into words how I am feeling at the moment. Um, grateful, emotional, embarrassed. Um, I don't think I've been this emotional since I last watched Forrest Gump, to be honest. Um, let's get out of here and have a dance, eh? Making the world go, making the world go, making the world go round. Making the world go, making the world go, making the world go round.